Hi everyone, here is Georgia and I'd like to thank you for your interest in our Reconstructor software. In today's video, we will have a look on how to create a new Reconstructor project and how it is structured. So, let's get started. Start by double-click on Reconstructor application. A welcome window appears. Here, you can decide to create a new project, open an existing one or exit the software. To create a new project, click on New Project and name it. Then, click on Browse to select a parent folder of your project. The user can decide to change the unit of measures. The default one is the International System of Units. If you want to change it, click on Change Unit. A new window appears where you can select the units that you would like to use. Once set, Click OK and then Create. Now you are ready to start importing your data. There are several options to import the data. The faster is drag and drop your data into the Constructor workspace. The Scan Processing windows appears. Here, automatically, you can run several data processes like filtering and registration. Don't worry, we will discover and experience how this wizard works in details in the lineup video tutorial that describes how to import, register and reference VTV data, so don't miss it. The Reconstructor software structure is very cleverly organized. All the specific tools related to a specific application are grouped in the same toolbox. This structure sensibly speeds up the job. For example, if you are working in mining applications, so you have the mining add-on, you can work on in the mining toolbox. You don't have to move around in the software searching a specific command to fulfill your need. To manage and check the add-ons, go to the main toolbar bar and select Add-ons. If you are using Reconstructor in its main configuration, you will get four toolbox. In the lineup toolbox, you can find the commands to register your point cloud by the automatic registration tool without target or target based, to georeference your data in global coordinate system, and other tools to filter and cluster the data. In the mesh toolbox, there are commands to import meshes, create, edit mesh, and you will get many other tools to create the geometric shapes like basic shape, for example polyline, or more complex shape like cylinder. In the measures toolbox, you can find distance and angle measurements, volume and area calculations, inspection tool, and video creation. In the cal output toolbox, there are specific tools to create cross sections, orthopodos, and generate virtual scans. On the top right of the workspace, there are drop list options where you can Decide your predefined views in the 3D workspace, change the screen settings, find tools to select and edit points in your 3D point cloud. Depending on your need, you can add three different add-ons to Reconstructor, Color, Mining and Aeron 1. When an add-on is activated, all the tools exclusively included in that add-on will be listed in a toolbox whose name is the add-on 1. So, you will get Color Toolbox that includes all the tools used to colorize your 3D points cloud or meshes by external photos. The Mining Toolbox where you can find all the tools for mining applications like topographic mesh creation, extract profiles, volume and volume cut and fill computations, and dedicated tunneling tools. The Heron Toolbox is a little bit more specific as it is customized for our Aeron Portable Mobile Mapping users. It includes all the tools to edit, navigate and reference a Heron survey. Last but not least, if you want to create your own personalized toolbox, click the cross button at the end of the toolbox bar and enter in the custom toolbox editor. Here, you can drag and drop your most frequently used tools for your daily work. Once done, click OK. The new toolbox will be now active. In today's video, you would have everything you need to get started using Reconstructor. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch today, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next time.